Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to play around with multi-camera editing on Adobe Premiere and on Final Cut Pro 10. So what I've got here is my Canon 650D that uh, is recording the audio on my mic, on Lavalier mic and the image at the moment. Right over there uh, I've got my Panasonic FZ150. Right over here I've got my uh, GoPro 3 uh, Hero, GoPro 3 Hero Black uh, edition and we are recording the screen as well. I just placed a um, just <laughs> a font here named my screen and a background with a signal TV. So if this is a, a subject that matters to you just uh, keep on watching and we will jump right to the video where I'll be sharing with you how we make this transition from camera one, camera two and camera three and screen. So this will be theoretically four cameras, uh, one of them being the, the screen that is being recorded. All of them are in 180p, 180p and 180p. So once again, camera one, camera two and camera three. Let's have a little bit fun and let's jump to the how-to uh, video itself. Okay guys, I'll see you in a few seconds. Hey guys and welcome back. So I just imported the footages from the cameras to the Mac this time, not the PC. Uh, if you haven't watched the Adobe Premiere tutorial about the multi-camera and if you are interested to see the difference, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> the differences between one and the other and why I'm having so much fun in Final Cut Pro 10, uh, I'll paste a link here somewhere around here so you can go and check. Uh, the Premiere tutorial for multi-camera. Uh, it's nice to use Premiere. I've been using Premiere for um, a few years now, but since I, I start playing with Final Cut, uh, I'm finding it very, very, very nice to use. So let's cut out the, the chit chat and let's go to the video itself. So I've got Final Cut Pro 10 uh, open here. And what I'm gonna do now is let me bring the folder here. So these are the cameras that uh, we just recorded and that you will see on the preview of uh, this video, um, even before <laughs> the intro. <laughs> so yeah, it's a different type of, of video. But um, so I've got the Canon 650D here, the GoPro, the Panasonic FZ, FZ150 and the screen recording, which was on my uh, PC, uh, Windows PC, sorry. So what I'm going to do now is import my medium and I'm going to go to the desktop and multicam, multicam TUT files. OK, and I'm going to select the four camera angles and import selected. Leave this as default import and it will import my um, angles. And the first step that I want to make is the multicam itself. So I'm just going to drag right click and new multicam clip. I'm going to leave this all automatic and uh, because it's going to synchronize with audio um, at the moment. And well, it's the only way I can synchronize. I don't have any camera that allows me to synchronize with time code or anything similar. So I will use the audio. The only thing that I, I know I talk a lot. <laughs> the only thing that I uh, advise is that you make sure that every device that you are using is capturing audio. If it's not, you will not be able to do this either on Premiere or on um, Final Cut Pro. Of course, you can do the old way, which is um, synchronizing manually, but that, that's a pain. Uh, I've done a few in the past like that, um, and it was a pain to do so. Okay, let's go and call this um, Multicam Final Cut Pro X. Uh, this will be the clip. Okay. 
and synchronizing as you can see it's uh, fast uh, now what I want to do is create a new project and this let's say Final Cut Pro and multi-camera tut okay and there we are so we have a new project I'm gonna drag my multi-cam clip over here and one thing that I would like to mention now is uh, usually the way that I work on Final Cut Pro 10 is to use two monitors as I do on Premiere. Uh, Premiere, I, I have to give this to Premiere, it, it has more unlimited, uh, not unlimited, but more uh, options regarding using streams. Uh, I can use more than two. Uh, and in here I didn't find so far, at least so far, I didn't find an option to use uh, more than two screens. But hey, two screens is enough. Even on Premiere I just work with two even though I have the option to use um, three screens. So I will try to use the, the GoPro to show you usually how I work in here. So I go to the window and show viewers on the second display. Okay, this will give me the second display just for the viewers and I will minimize the angles because I don't need them so big. And we'll have most part of the screen um, just with um, the video so when i'm editing uh, i use it like this um <laughs> i have fun like this doing using the, the screens and i can see a bigger a bigger window in this case i'll be recording the the screen the main monitor so i'll put everything in here on um on the same window so we're gonna get the space a little bit more crammed up but uh, this way you'll be able to see it and we can minimize this here. Okay. So now next step will be checking. I know I made a few cuts here, a few cuts there. And let's see if I can, I think this is the point where I'm ready. This was a signal for myself. But <laughs> I made a few signals of that one, so I'm not sure if this this one. We'll give it a try. If not, I will make a few more cuts to it. So okay. So let's play just to see. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to play around with cameras, uh, more specifically, editing in multi-camera on Adobe Premiere and on Final Cut Pro 10. I'll make two separate videos, so if you need uh, Premiere, I'll put, post, post a link here. Corta. Okay, that was, I think, the last cut. Okay, so I'm ready to start, and let's bring the project over here. Hey guys, and welcome to another Corta. <laughs> Not yet. Hey guys. Okay. Somewhere around here. Sorry for that, guys, but I'm trying to do everything here and you are watching as um, I would be working. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and today we are going to play. Okay, so now I think we are ready to start um, editing the video. And one thing that I would like to show you how simple is Final Cut Pro 10 and um, how easy it is for a beginner because i'm a beginner on final cut pro 10 uh, i bought it one year ago somewhere around one year ago final cut pro motion 5 and compressor um but i said this on previous videos so i'm not going to repeat again i only started to use it about three four months ago um and it's awesome it's very simple <laughs> and i love the simplicity of it so regarding audio Let's talk a little bit about audio. So in this case, we have two icons here, or symbols, call it whatever you want. Um, and it means that we are capturing video and audio from this clip over here. Uh, if I select the audio, I can say to Final Cut, I want to use audio from this one, or from this one, or from this one. In my case, I was recording with the Canon 650D, uh, with my lavalier microphone that you can see here on the scene uh, but i could use um, my yeti microphone 
Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to play around with multi cam. Okay, so usually I use the, the sound of the microphone but I was moving around and as you can see when I talk to this side the mic uh, gives a different sound. So this mic is great when I'm talking like this because it's on cardioid mode, mode cardioid mo cardioid mode. <laughs> this would be another cut but I won't cut it. Um, but uh, as I was moving around I decided to use the lavalier to have the constant sound even though the quality is inferior to my Yeti microphone. Uh, if we select the GoPro. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to play around with multi-camera edit. You can see that yeah. the sound is. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to play around with and to be fair, the Canon would give a similar sound to the Panasonic or to the GoPro. Uh, well, the, the, more similar to the Panasonic than the GoPro. GoPro gives a more uh, echo effect. Uh, but neither cameras uh, have good speakers, unfortunately. Sorry, Canon, sorry, Panasonic, sorry, GoPro, but no. Even a cheap Lavalier microphone would be uh, better than your camera input. So, uh, that being said, the audio, uh, you will cut it uh, if you select that icon over there so we want to use the audio from here this icon here means that you just want to cut uh, the angles of the video so you will use the audio of the canon and you will cut the video uh, as you go right here now there's another option which is cut video and audio um, to be honest this is not well at least in my opinion is not the best way to do because you're going to grab the video and the audio from the actual clip so if I select Canon 650D and then go to my GoPro, I will select the video and the audio. And this will give me different levels of uh, audio and different quality of audio. Um, you can say Air Robot, but you have different levels on, on the cameras, on the GoPro, on the Canon and on the Panasonic. Uh, yeah, true. But I think, well, at least for me, it bothers me more the differences on, on audio than on the video. Uh, and I have three different cameras, that's <laughs> what I use um, at the moment, in the future, we never know. But uh, if I have a slight different uh, image on, on each, uh, well, that's okay for me. This is just, as I said, for my free time to have fun and share with you guys. So bear with me like that. So this is not, at least for me, not the best option. I would select audio and then grab my video tool and start cutting. So now it's the fun part. Let's take a, a, look, a look at the cuts because if everything goes right, this will be the preview that you are going to watch on both videos on uh, Premiere and on Final Cut uh, tutorials. Also, the Premiere videos uh, were not edited yet, so they will be edited in Final Cut Pro 10. It's, it's a bit funny, but I'm loving so much Final Cut Pro 10 that even recording the tutorial on Premiere I'm going to edit here and already got the files I'm going to show you here, Premiere Tutorial. So I've got my two files from Canon, one from the Group Pro and the screen from the Premiere. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, the dog. I love the products, but uh, <laughs> Final Cut is giving me really, really fun time. Okay, enough with the chit chat and let's go. So what I'm going to do is select... Um, the angle that I want to start with, which is my main camera, and I'm going to press play. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to play around with multi camera editing on Adobe Premiere and on Final Cut Pro 10. So, what I've got here is my Canon 650D that uh, is recording the audio on my mic, on Lavalier mic, and the image at the moment. Right over there, uh, I've got my Panasonic FZ150. Right over here, I've got my uh, GoPro 3 uh, Hero, GoPro 3 Hero Black uh, Edition. And we are recording the screen as well. I just placed a, um, just <laughs> a font here named My Screen and a background with a signal TV. So if this is a, a subject that matters to you, just uh, keep on watching and we will jump right to the video where I'll be sharing with you how we make this transition from camera one, camera two and camera three and screen. So this will be theoretically 
four cameras, uh, one of them being the, the screen that is being recorded. All of them are in 180p, 180p and 180p. So once again, camera one, camera two and camera three. Let's have a little bit fun and let's jump to the how to uh, video itself. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay. So we are finished, sorry for the delay. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut up to here, somewhere around here. Cut. And then I'm gonna apply a, a fade effect here later on. Don't want to waste much more, much more of your time. Let's just play back a little bit. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to play around with multi-camera editing on Adobe Premiere and on Final Cut Pro 10. So what I've got here is my Canon 650D that uh, is recording the audio on my mic, on Lavalier mic and the image at the moment. Right over there, uh, I've got my Panasonic FZ150. Right over here, I've got my uh, GoPro 3 uh, Hero, GoPro 3 Hero Black uh, Edition and we are recording the screen as well i just placed a okay so guys this is it uh simple as this one more thing that we could do here is um let me just as you can see all the cuts that we did are together. so it's not a final edit if you want you can and i know i missed a few uh, by milliseconds maybe but I, I know I could have done a little bit better I don't know if I, <laughs> if I will bother to uh, probably I would just shoot it like this and we'll watch it on a preview like this but uh, just to let you know that if you want let's for example a signal TV so if this is this you say that you want to delay a little bit here this is signal TV so if this is a but uh, as you can see simple as this just drag it and even a subject that matters to you just uh, keep on watching and we will jump right to the video where I'll be sharing with you okay so at the moment I'm watching uh, my GoPro. I would probably want to put my GoPro around here where I'll be sharing with you how we make this transition from camera one, camera two, and camera three, and screen. So this will be theoretically four cameras, uh, one of them being the, the screen that... Okay, guys, and I think this is it. Uh, at least the main functions of, um, of it all and the, the functions that I use for multicam, um, this is it. If this uh, was a video that uh, was useful in some way, just press that like button it really motivates to make uh, more videos and if you aren't a subscriber yet uh, hit that subscribe button uh, I accept suggestions if you want hey Robert uh, how about a video about this or about that when I have free time I will place it on my to-do list just got my new <laughs> not bad the other one uh, run out so and when I have free time, I will make uh, tutorials. Some of them I will have to say no because um, some of them people ask me really how to make uh, a tutorial about a template that I created. And that's that's my job. That's uh, that's my work. So some of them I cannot. I have one plan to do, which was one of my first templates, and probably I will make a, a little bit of a tutorial to show you some uh, some effects. But here's an idea. Um, and I'm going to shut up because I know I talk a lot. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Thumbs up and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.